We're at Epcot today and we thought it'd be fun to do an Instagram decides our day at the parks. So we're letting Instagram decide what we eat, drink, do. Ride. So it should be interesting. Ride. Hopefully. Not that there's that many rides in Epcot, yeah. but <laughs> currently in this little isolated section here. So now you can take your face mask off to take pictures. So that's cool. You can show your face again mm -hmm. in photos. So the first thing I asked the poll was, do we go to Mexico first or do we go to Canada first? Right. Left or right. We usually go to Mexico. Yes, every time. pretty much, yeah, actually Cavite, every single time. Del tequila. <laughs> That's usually our go-to, but it'll be interesting if we go to Canada first to switch things up. Yeah. So let's see what the poll picks. So I posted this an hour ago, and it looks like Canada wins. So we're going to Canada. Changing things up. All right, we're in Canada, and they do have a food booth here called Northern Bloom. So we're gonna ask the poll, what do we eat? We should get the seared scallops or the or the grilled maple pound cake. So two different things that I want, <laughs> and I don't care either way, so we'll see which one votes, but I kind of want the scallops, but I also kind of want this. It's been like 45 minutes since I posted this, and it's a close race. Seared scallops, 58%. Grilled maple cake, 42%. So, scallops it is. All right, here's our little scallops. I mean, they look a little sad to me, personally. Yeah, the bacon looks sad. I don't know, something about it the doesn't... The green beans look like they were frozen. And... <laughs> it doesn't look as nice as in the pictures, but you know what? Scallops won. It's also about to rain, so let's eat this quick. Better than it looks. Mm -hmm. It's actually good. <laughs> We didn't ask Instagram's permission for this, but we're gonna go check out the festival offerings over here. This mysterious little building over here that's like hiding. I think this is like the ballroom dancing exhibit. Yeah. <laughs> so every hour they have a show here and I kind of need to see what this is about. These little beef brisket burnt ends and smoked pork belly sliders sound good. We also found this lamb that looks really good. Spring herb crusted lamb with a red wine butter sauce. We're about to get our lamb, but this place is really cute. Thank you. You're welcome, enjoy. It all looks pretty good. Mm. You like that? Wow. I've only had the vegetables. I'm already impressed. <laughs> wow. That's delicious. <laughs> Update. You only get one slider, which is very misleading in this photo. <laughs> You only get one slider for $7, so no thanks. And let's see what kind of food they have here for Flower and Garden. I actually don't think there is a booth here in the UK. So we're at the Rose and Crown and our next poll just went up. And it's either do we get the Leaping Leprechaun drink or do we get a Guinness? Which usually we go for the Guinness. Obviously either way is fine because we always go for Guinness. But it would be fun to try something different. And we've been seeing all these people around us with a drink that's green right and it's the leaping leprechaun drink so we're kind of like curious to try that but also like I'm, I want Guinness. I'd rather Guinness. <laughs> so we'll see what wins. I've heard a lot of people complain about this little thing in the middle there and yeah it's not pretty but it will be interesting to see once it's all it's supposed to be fountains. Yeah it's gonna be nice but it's I just think. kind of ugly right now in the middle of nowhere but you know we'll see how it comes out eventually. It looks like Guinness won so we are getting some Guinness.
Thank you. You have to wait until all my beautiful artwork. <laughs> I love that. Drinking our Guinness, but if you look closely, there's Alice in Wonderland. Guinness is the way to go. When at the Rosen Crown. Although we can't drink it at the Rosen Crown anymore, so we gotta drink it outside. Right. But Unless you're sitting. Yeah. The guy was nice enough though to give us one Guinness and have us split it in between two cups. We were gonna get two half pints. Right, and he said it was like two dollars more. So, so he said we would save money by getting one. Just get splitting. one, split it between two. Yeah. Cheers. We should probably trade them Okay, so we are gonna ask the poll if we should have the tart with the goat cheese and the caramelized onions on a flaky pastry crust, or do we get the gnocchi braised duck confit, le orange? <laughs> So I'm guessing right behind these walls will be the ride. I wish I could like, I wish I could peek up there, but I can't yeah. reach. <laughs> yeah, you need like a really good tripod to be able to do that. Um, is anyone staying here? Some French guy opens the door. The baguettes. Marie, the baguettes. The baguettes. Hurry up. Hurry up. <laughs> like that's what the, they should have like a little like, what's it called? You knock it, yeah. A little activation. So in there they have the Beauty and the Beast sing-along. Honestly, as cute as that sing-along concept is, I don't like the whole Maurice twist. And we were very confused about it last time and about the whole like reason why Maurice is supposed to be right. But I wouldn't skip out on it. No, I yeah, I, definitely I would do it. Experience it, it just to at be at least once. After. <laughs> So the goat cheese tart is winning, so we're gonna go ahead and order the goat cheese tart. We got our little baby goat cheese tart. It looks good though, I mean it's tiny. Everything's tiny here. It does have a very nice flaky pastry. That is nice. I think we would have been happy no matter what. That's really good. <laughs> we're heading into Morocco now and we're gonna see... I'm still hungry. I feel like every time we eat, it's so it's such a small little bite. It's like a tease that I just want more food. But I also want more drinks, so I don't know. <laughs> I want both. Maybe that's the question we should ask. Between a drink or a food item. Do we right, drink or see. do we eat? We're gonna ask the poll if we should have the shashuka or the MIA beer pink hibiscus orange wheat ale. Do we eat or do we drink? Update, the lack of bathrooms in both France and Morocco. Six pounds of 32 bucks. Why? I will say when we got here, it was really gloomy. And now, blue skies. And now we have this umbrella we've been holding on the whole time to, thinking it was gonna be raining. And it's not, so... Well, if it does, I guess, we're prepared. Oh wait, is there someone over here? Alright, it looks like the pink hibiscus ale won. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Alright, time to try this uh, MIA pink hibiscus beer. MIA. I wonder where that's from. Hmm. It tastes like pink hibiscus? Not really. Not really. I don't know, it just tastes like a blonde that's ale. That's the problem with beers. Usually, the flavor that's advertised. Yeah. It's almost... It's, it's fine. Always lost. But it's not yeah. special or different. Yeah. It's beer. And this place is like, very close to our house. <laughs> Never been there. Yeah, we gotta go visit the MIA Beering Company. I wonder when they'll ever update this little Kauai museum section. I feel like it's been the same for years. Like, they could just, you know, add some new things to it. This bubblegum girl right here has been here forever. 
my favorite part of this whole thing is this little Pikachu teapot. Look how cute that is. Definitely the best shop in all of the Epcot stores. Look at this. Sailor Look at this Sailor Moon section. Oh. Sailor Moon leggings. Well, they're actually like tights, but oh, I would wear those. Tights. I would wear those. They got the Nintendo section. They got the Mario's, Luigi's, the Kirby's, and the Toads. We got Bowser shell. We got Yoshi eggs. We got Goombas, banana peels, ah. turtle shells. We even have the bullet right over here somewhere. I love him. Blooper. Can't forget about blooper. Got a whole Pikachu section. I want one of those book bags. They got keto plushies. <laughs> I tried. I tried. I want all the cat stuff. We should do a poll and ask people if we get these or these. Well, of course, the Violet Saki one. So definitely gonna go get that. Finally gonna try the Violet Saki. It's so pretty. I've seen everybody always talking about this drink. So now I finally get to have it. Cheers. And you got the what? The Sapporo? Sapporo. Sapporo. Cheers. First sip, finally. Wow. It's actually really nice. That is so nice. It's like subtly sweet. It's like tea. It's like tea, yeah. But then it has like, I guess it's floral, obviously. It's floral. But sweet, but not too sweet. Lemony. A little sour. It's lemony. Tap it sour, okay. It's really nice. I actually didn't get the whole hype. I thought people liked it because of how pretty it was. I literally thought it was because of the color. <laughs> I'm like, people just like this drink because of the color. It actually is not just pretty, it tastes pretty. <laughs> All right, now we're in the Magnolia Terrace. Let's see what they got. All right, we're gonna ask the poll if we should get the house-made boudin, boudin, right? Two ways, or the pecan cake. So let's see. Completely two different, completely different things, but we'll see. Well, here in America, we have the mariachi cobra performing. Okay, we're gonna cheat. Although pecan cake is winning, we're just gonna get both, honestly. Thank you. Ooh, it looks good. Thank you. We got both the boudin two ways and the pecan cake and the Voices of Liberty are singing right now. It looks like mustard sauce too. It's good. I like good it. Rice. <laughs> this is like a rice ball, like a fried rice ball or something. I don't know, but it's good. So boudin means rice. I didn't know what boudin was. <laughs> Try this uh, pecan cake, which looks pretty nice. That is nice. I mean, everything we've tried has been good today. Now one disappointment. <laughs> So here in Italy, we're going to decide whether we get the the arancini or the cannoli. So basically these are like fried risotto balls and they look good. We're here with our friend Andrea Hi. from A Real Slice of Magic yes. on Instagram. So make sure to follow her. Thank you. And we're about to try our, uh, what is it called? Aran Risotto balls. No, it's <laughs> called arancini. I think. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. It's good. Very good. Yeah. And what did you get again? You I got, just got um, the Peroni Pilsner. That's yeah. my favorite beer. It's very refreshing. Time. Yeah, I'm not mad at you it. You like it? Yeah. <laughs> so Italy approved. <laughs> <laughs> I will say this is, I like this more than the boudin. And the boudin is kind of similar. It the was boudin like, was nice too. It was good though. 
but this is Love a little more fun. Yeah. So when in Germany do we get a pretzel or do we get a bagel? I mean, <laughs> so when in Germany do we get a pretzel or beer or both? When you cheat from the pole and you get a pretzel and a beer because you just want them both. Fine. Cheers. <laughs> Okay, so for the poll, we're gonna do Papa Cakes versus Bon Bon Chicken Skewer. This chicken skewer actually looks really nice. And these are the wontons. Ooh. Surprise, this is bigger than I expected. Is it good? It's one of the best things we've had. <laughs> oh yeah? Wow, that's a big claim because the lamb, I know, is one of the best things we've had so far. Wow. So soft. Very it's tender. so tender. Very similar to the lamb. I guess that's what we like. Tender. <laughs> <laughs> so the next thing we're going to do is find out, in Norway, do we try the school bread or do we skip it? do something we have not done yet and try the school bread. Right here is the infamous or famous, I'm not sure which one, <laughs> school bread from Norway. So Coconut. It's bread. It is definitely bread. I was kind of hoping it would be more like donutty, I guess. Like doughy. It's sure. more like bread. It's a bread. But I do like the filling and the coconut. The filling is nice and sweet, and that really does help flavor <laughs> the bread. Because the bread is not sweet. The bread is like <laughs> kind of boring, but. I like in the cardamom. I do like it's that. In there. I do like that, though. It's I like the. <laughs> I like the spice, the warm spice. Do you try it? So the custard filling with the cardamom, that's the star, right? Right. Yeah. The bread itself is, is just bread. Right, it's just bread. <laughs> it's it's fun though. We're trying at least, once at least. But I don't know if it would be like my thing. Like I, would, I wouldn't. If this was a donut. It's a unique flavor. <laughs> if this was a brioche donut. I know. It'll that's, be, it'll be... that's what I was saying, that it would be more like doughy, oh, like a man, donut. It would be amazing. Oh well, cheers. <laughs> Last pavilion, Mexico. Do we get tequila or do we get tequila? <laughs> because tequila, obviously. I think I'm gonna try this pink popcorn drink from Gava de la Tequila. So I'm getting the pink popcorn margarita. And what is it called that you're getting? Alebrije. Alebrije. Margarita. It's a special margarita that has like a smoke effect. Let's see. And there's your drink. <laughs> Thank you. Now that's a drink. <laughs> Makes my drink look silly compared to yours. His bubble popped before we got to the. Just two seconds ago. Aww. Trying to get the bubble all the way. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah? It's fun looking, so even if it wasn't that good. <laughs> okay, cheers. I gotta try yours. This is perfect for me. Yeah, mine's is fun. I don't know if you'll like. I don't know if you'll like it as much as obviously whatever. Oh, this is refreshing. Oh, that's smoky. Yeah. Yours is refreshing. Yeah, this is perfect for like. A hot day. If you want like a fun little refreshing margarita, that's like smoky yeah. and like that's so you. And this is 
Pink popcorn, so me, I have my, hold on. You do have popcorn. I do have my popcorn earrings on, so pink popcorn cheers. <laughs>